It's now time to vacuum again for the day. So the first thing that I'm going to do is check the area and make sure that there are no spills or large obstacles that are in the area that need to be removed. Removing these obstacles is very important before we actually start vacuuming with the Vacuum 40 because those obstacles, those spills, will get in the way of the efficiency and the efficacy of the product. I've already done that, and now I'm going to go ahead and get the robot ready to run. We've done our daily maintenance. We're now going to unplug the robot from the wall where it's charging, remove the charging blocks, and select the task that we want to for the day. So. First and foremost, I'll unplug the charger from the wall. This is just a standard outlet, unplugged. Make sure that the cord is put somewhere where you're not going to trip on it as we're trying to turn on the machine. I'm then going to unplug the robot from the charger. That will be on the left side of the machine as you're looking at the machine. We'll put the block back in. I'll go ahead and turn the machine on with the key. It will take about 30 seconds for the robot to boot up. And once it boots, I can log in and select my task. So while it's booting, I'll remove the chalk blocks. And then I'm going to go ahead and move the robot to the space where I might want to start the task. Note, if I need to go up an elevator bank, if I need to go up a ramp, one thing that I can do is use the kickstand on the back of the machine to go over any hurdles or bumps that might occur. All right, we're now ready to go and clean.